When factoring, you should always remember to take the greatest common factor out first. That would be your first step at all times. And so this particular problem has a common factor of a 2. So I'm going to take the 2 out, and I'll need an a squared and then minus 49, because the 2 times 49 is 98. And then now I happen to notice that this is two terms with a minus sign in between. So I have to factor this again. And the reason it's factorable is because it's called the difference of squares. Um, the 49 is a perfect square. The square root of it is the number 7. This can be factored into a plus 7 and a minus 7. It doesn't matter which order you put those in. The 2 does have to come down in front. Do know that you could have the a minus 7 in front and the a plus 7 in the back. And if you foiled that back out and then multiplied by this, by this 2, you would get the original problem. So we're writing these things as products when we factor them. Well, now, number 42 is a little bit more problematic in that it doesn't have a greatest common factor, and it's a trinomial. I have shared with you a method in previous videos to do this problem where you do not have to guess and check. It's a strict, uh, always works method. It involves taking the coefficient of the x squared term, which is a 3, and the constant, which is a negative 8, and multiplying those together. 3 times a negative 8 is a negative 24. So I want two numbers whose product is a negative 24. And I want those two numbers to add to be the middle term, which in this case is the number 2 right here. So I want those to add to be the 2. And, and so, you know, you could, uh, the numbers have to be different in sign. One's got to be positive, one's got to be negative. Um, the bigger number has to be positive because they have to add to be a positive 2. And if by chance you see right away that 6 times 4 are the two numbers that multiply to be a negative 24 and 6 and a negative 4 add to be 2, then you're good to go. What you do now is you replace this middle term, the 2x, with a 6x and a minus 4x. Again, a 6x minus 4x, isn't that a 2x? And then you bring down this minus 8 right here, and you bring down this 3x squared right here, this 6x was positive. Let's get the plus sign in there. And you've made this into a problem that is four terms. And now what we're going to do is we're going to factor it by grouping. When we factor by grouping, whoops, let's see what happened there. I'm not sure. I'm going to continue and um, just not try to use a color. So I had a little bit of trouble there. Um, I'm going to group these two and then group those two. That minus sign in front of the 4 has to be included in the parentheses. The greatest common factor between these two terms is a 3x and I'm going to factor that out and I would need then an x plus 2 here. The greatest common factor between those two terms is a 4 but because they're both negative signs and the two terms in the previous grouping were both positive, I better factor out a negative 4 because I want this to match. I want this to be an x plus 2 to match this right here. And, and it's correct, this negative 4 times this x is a minus 4x and times that 2 is the minus 8. My finished answer to this problem, the x plus 2 gets written down once. And the 3x minus 4 gets written down in the other binomial. That comes from here and right here. And if I foiled this all out, please also note that you could also write this answer with the 3x minus 4 in the front and then the x plus 2. Um, doesn't matter. But if you foiled this out, you'd get the problem that you started with. Number 43 has a greatest common factor in it. It looks to me like that's a 3. So you should always take that out first. So I'm going to take out the 3, and I'll need a 2a squared here, and then a minus 5a, and then a minus 12. 
Again, if you multiplied that 3 through or distribute it through that trinomial, you'd get what you started with. Now I have to factor this trinomial. And the AC method tells me that if I found two numbers whose product is a negative 24, it's this 2 and the negative 12. So I, pr want, I want their product to be a negative 24. I'm going to put a little time symbol up here. And I want them to add to be the negative 5 in the middle. And so it seems to me like that's going to have to be an 8 and a 3. Probably a negative 8 and a positive 3 would multiply to be a negative 24. So this 5a gets replaced with a negative 8a and a 3a, because that is a negative 5a. Then I bring down my minus 12 right here. I bring down my 2a squared right here. And now I group the first two and the last two and take out the greatest common factor out of each group. In the first group, it's a 2a. So I take that out, and I have an a minus a 4. In the second group, it's a 3, and I would need then an a minus a 4. And oh, yay, those are supposed to match. If they don't, it's probably not factorable. And I write that binomial down once, the a minus 4. And I write down the 2a plus 3 um, in the other group, so right here and right here. And then I don't forget the greatest common factor way up above, which is a 3. And just remember that that a minus 4 doesn't have to be first. It could be the 2a plus 3, and then the a minus 4, and then again, don't forget your 3. Same as in number 44, the greatest common factor is a 2. And when you take that out, you'll need a 6x squared here minus a 13x minus a 5. And I need two numbers that mul their product has got to be a negative 30. And they have to add to be a negative 13. Well, I was just thinking 3 and 10, but I have a feeling I'm wrong. The signs have to be opposite. So I bet you i got to use a negative 15 and a positive 2 to multiply to be that negative 30. And they add to be a negative 13. So this negative 13x gets replaced with that negative 15x and 2x. And then I bring down this minus 5, and then I bring down this 6x squared, and I group the first two, group the last two, and I'm going to take the greatest common factor out of the first group, which looks like a 3x times 2x minus 5. And since there's nothing that can come out of the second group, I have to at least let my know, myself know that a 1 could be factored out of that, because 1 times anything is just itself. Because these match, and they're part of the factored form, which is the 2x minus 5. But my other binomial has to have a 3x, and it's got to have this 1 right here. It's got to have the 3x and it's got to have the 1. And don't forget to bring your greatest common factor down of 2. Good enough.